A new blow for Greece. A standard in pools warns of a possible ratings downgrade. No extra help from the ECB. Trichet wants governments to take the lead in fixing Europe's debt problems. And it's the big one. The latest US report may show a further improvement in the labor market. Those are our top stories on Countdown. Hello, I'm Judy Borgner in London. Also coming up on the program, Russia makes history winning the race to stage the 2018 World Cup. Didn't need a bailout. That was the Irish Prime Minister. You're back with Countdown with me, Judith Borgner. Now, Polish immigrant workers helped fuel the building boom in Ireland. But the recession knocked the ground from under construction and the Polish went home. Now, the Irish are following them. Poppy Trowbridge reports. Now, early we heard from the Irish Finance Minister, Ireland goes to the debt market today with about one and a half billion euro bond sale. And to talk about that and the country's fiscal situation, we now cross live to BNP Paribas economist Owen O'Callaghan. Good to have you on the show, Owen. To be the good man or woman to uh, take over that responsibility. Well, I'm not going to pick an individual, you know, I would but say... But someone from inside us or an outsider? I think, well, you, you look at both, like you know, it. the finance director of, of Lloyds Bank, who's been there... It's, you know, she's done a good job. Helen Weir. Uh, Helen Weir. And um, I'm sure, you know, if you're a finance director, you'd like to have a chance of, uh, of the title. You don't want to get to the end of your career and have one of those sort of Marlon Brando moments. You know, I could have been a contender. But I think um, the board would take a very considered situation and say, look, you know, for the, the, the UK government, 42% are now virtually in the money with Lloyds Bank. And they must be looking at a situation now whereby, you know, the value of Lloyds Bank and Royal Bank continues to go up. And mm. at some point, there will be a placing of shares and the government will actually get their money back. It's not easy to be a banking boss these days. We had uh, John Varley, Barclays leaving, HSBC, uh, Stephen Green, and now Eric Dennis and Unicredit's uh, Alessandro Profumo also I, probably going to retire. I, I think, you know, if you've been a banker for the last, you know, you had a sort of honeymoon period, a fantastic period in you, sort of 10 years economic growth, everything you touched turned to gold. And the last three or four years have been like firefighting. And I just think, you know, it's a very attritional job uh, at the best of times, when things are going badly and everyone's saying you're terrible and should be sacked, then you get things back on an even kill and it's always good to leave, you know, when things are better, rather. Quick, you know, word, a quick word on Deutsche Bank selling new shares today, 30% below the closing price yesterday. Well, at the end of the day, you know, if, if you're going to raise new equity, you've got to find a clearing place in the market. And uh, you know, Deutsche Bank have decided that 30% is the level. Let's hope it's, uh, that's the right level. Thank you so much. Andy Broff, Schroeder Investment. Now, coming up next, here right here on Countdown, housing prices might be down. Welcome back to Countdown with me, Judith Bogner. Now, gold continues to break records as investors look for a safe haven from shelter from concerns about the global recovery. But silver is also on the rise now, less than 50 cents shy of a 30-year high. Silver prices. Let's bring up that next chart. I'm taking the cue from its big brother gold. The price to watch for silver is $21. That's the intraday high back in March 2008. And if silver crosses that point, it takes the precious metals back all the way to levels not seen since 1980. And in the past year, silver has risen 21%, while gold is 26% higher, so almost caught up. Now, silver may have to rise further. That's according to Deutsche Bank, as investors in China buy the metal as an alternative to to real estate. Net imports in terms of silver into China quadrupled in the first seven months of this year. Now, Deutsche Bank forecasts silver may average $22 next year compared to this year's average price of $17.85. Remember, China is the world's largest user of silver also for industrial and jewelry purposes after the US and India. What do you think, Julian, sway the opinion towards continuing with this bond purchase? Because it's something they don't quite like, well, at least not <clears> the Germans, if you ask, ask Axel Weber. What, what we don't know is exactly how many people are opposed uh, to continuing with the bond purchases, the so-called so SMP. He said there was consensus in the majority um, to continue. Yeah, so the consensus means that there, there certainly were a few people who 